Recently, online discussions have claimed that the J20 is being upgraded with silicon carbide radar, replacing gallium nitride radar. This upgrade would significantly enhance the J20's search range and accuracy, giving it a first strike advantage in confrontations with the F-22 and F-35. The F-22 and F-35 still use gallium nitride radar. Initially, this was just a topic among social media, so I didn't pay much attention. However, domestic portal sites like Sohu have started discussing it, citing Hong Kong's South China Morning Post a major and reputable media outlet, which increases the credibility of the information. Therefore, I'd like to share my thoughts on this matter. If true, this would undoubtedly be highly significant. Don't underestimate the gallium nitride radar used by the F-22 and F-35. In fact, only China and the U.S. can mass-produce it. The manufacturing process for gallium nitride is extremely complex. And since it is primarily used in military products, the market is small, lacking cost effectiveness and commercial value. Thus, only major powers like China and the US have the motivation to mass produce it. Take the India Pakistan air conflict as an example. Pakistan's Air Force benefited greatly from its all Chinese data link, but the J 10's gallium nitride radar allowed it to defeat the Rafale even without early warning aircraft support. The RAF Faley uses gallium arsenide radar, an older material. In fourth-generation fighters with similar maneuverability, the advantage of gallium nitride radar over gallium arsenide radar is critical. Detecting the enemy first allows the launch of PL-15 missiles to shoot them down before they detect you. Before the India-Pakistan air conflict, I predicted that if India dared to provoke Pakistan, it would face humiliation. Those videos are still on my channel for anyone to verify. I'm not a military expert, but I have basic scientific knowledge. India's Air Force mainly uses Russian and French fighters. During the Soviet era, Russian fighters had advanced designs, excellent aerodynamics, and engines that could compete with the US. However, their radar and electronic warfare equipment lagged behind the West. After the Soviet Union's collapse, Russia's industry declined rapidly, widening the gap with the West. France, while one of the seven major industrialized nations, is essentially a second-tier power with nuclear weapons. In economy, technology, and military, it cannot compare with superpowers like China and the US. The Rafale uses gallium arsenide radar instead of gallium nitride because France cannot master the refining and processing of gallium nitride. It could buy it from the U.S., but the U.S. would not easily allow such sensitive materials to be sold to India. If France prioritized it, producing gallium nitride domestically wouldn't be too difficult. But given France's economic scale, using it solely for military industries would be uneconomical. For China, over 300 J-20 fighters have been deployed, a twin-engine heavy fifth-generation fighter comparable to the F-22. It certainly uses gallium nitride radar. In fact, China has not only equipped the J-20 with gallium nitride radar, but also gradually upgraded the J-16, J-15, and J-35 with it. Now, the J-20's adoption of the more advanced silicon carbide radar reflects China's strong capabilities in advanced materials. This move could quickly shift the balance of air combat power between China and the U.S forcing the U.S. to catch up. I believe the U.S. military-industrial complex is capable of developing silicon carbide radar. However, the problem is that the U.S. industry has significantly declined. Every investment in advanced technology research costs several times, or even 10 times, more than in China. As the world's factory, China has the most complete industrial system globally. China could achieve breakthroughs in various critical fighter jet components at any time, forcing the U.S. to keep up. The U.S. debt has reached alarming levels, and its global expansion strategy, with wars launched worldwide, has deepened its financial difficulties. Due to economic constraints, 
the U.S. shut down the F-22 production line, making maintenance a challenge. With many suppliers closing, replacing F-22 parts often requires custom manufacturing, which is extremely costly. As a result, the F-22's operational readiness rate is below 50%, severely impacting its combat capability. The F-35's readiness rate is also low. The U.S. mass produces the F-35 for its allies. But as the China-U.S. technology competition intensifies, China's rare earth export restrictions have halted production at many U.S. military industrial firms. Developing domestic rare earth production to replace China's would take at least a decade. The U.S. hegemony is becoming increasingly vulnerable due to its manufacturing decline. For China, the strategy is to intensify weapons development, strengthening its arsenal through advanced technological innovation, forcing the U.S. to follow and depleting its national strength, making it feel the same helplessness as the Soviet Union before its collapse. Simultaneously, converting military technology to civilian use stimulates economic growth. For example, Large-scale production of aircraft carriers and warships relies on and supports the shipbuilding industry, creating more jobs. The Beidou Satellite Navigation System provides the Chinese military with unprecedented technological autonomy, benefits civilian businesses, and expands China's soft power. Similarly, space technology, such as China's lunar program and other space exploration initiatives, erodes the U.S. technological dominance while fostering a space technology ecosystem, encouraging more businesses to participate and boosting the economy. Most of my predictions from last year have come true, such as those about Indian Aerospace and NASA and SpaceX. I'll say it again. This isn't about my brilliance, but about hard strength in technological competition. Fancy presentations and boastful speeches change nothing. Just like the J-10 fighter. No one would believe in its strength until it shot down a Rafale.